Today we'll be accessing and downloading crash data from this 2019 Chevrolet Camaro. We'll be using the Bosch CDR Pro Toolkit to access the data through the vehicle's DLC port. Before performing any download, we'll need to look up the vehicle in the CDR help file. We'll need to verify that the 2019 Camaro is CDR supported. We'll want to know what hardware components are needed to perform the download, and we'll want to see if there are any notes or special instructions that apply to the 2019 Camaro. Open the CDR software and click on the Vehicle Cable Lookup icon. A window will appear with CDR supported manufacturers. Click on Chevrolet. Click on 2019 or scroll down to 2019 Chevrolet models. We see that the 2019 Camaro is CDR supported. We'll want to determine what hardware is needed to perform a DLC download. We'll start with the Vehicle Interface column. As you can see, either the CAN Plus interface module or the CDR900 can be used to download data from the ACM of this vehicle. The recovered data will be the same regardless of which interface module you choose to use. We'll be performing a DLC download, so check the OBD DLC Connect column to determine which cables or adapters will be needed. If using the CAM Plus module, we'll need the FOOK 108 287 connection cable, which is the standard CAM Plus DLC cable. If using the CDR900, click on the hyperlink. This will take you to a connection diagram. As you can see, we'll need to use the CDR900 DLC cable connected to the main interface power cable of the CDR900. A note is indicated for the 2019 Camaro. It's indicated here as note number 6. Click on the hyperlink. A table of notes will appear. Remember, only note number 6 is applicable to our vehicle. Scroll down until you see note number 6. It indicates that a key is not required to image these vehicles through the DLC, so you can leave the ignition off or on during imaging. Note that the ACM is the only EDR system available to download in this vehicle. We'll prepare our equipment and go to the vehicle to perform the download. We'll be using the CDR900 interface module for our download, but we'll show the connection process for the CAN Plus interface module as well. Open the CDR software program on your computer. Connect the CDR900 DLC cable to the main interface power cable. Connect the black USB cable to the bottom USB-B port on the bottom of the CDR900 and to an open USB port on your computer. You can skip this step if you're using the CDR900 wireless communication feature. Next, connect the DLC cable to the DLC OBD port of the vehicle. The amber LED on the main interface power cable should be illuminated, indicating power is being supplied to the CDR900 through the DLC port. For the CAN Plus interface module, connect the 9-pin serial end of the gray USB cable to the PC port on the CAN Plus module. Connect the other end to an open USB port on your computer. Connect the CAN Plus DLC cable to the vehicle port on the CAN Plus module. Then plug the other end into the DLC port. The green LED on the CAN Plus module should now be illuminated, indicating it is receiving power from the DLC port. Now we're ready to start the download. Click on the new file icon on the toolbar. Select the vehicle brand you're working with, in this case, Chevrolet. You can either manually enter the VIN of the vehicle or use the read VIN from vehicle function. One thing of note about our 2019 Camaro. If you'll recall, an ignition key is not needed to perform a download through the DLC port. In most cases, even with that option, the read VIN from vehicle function will not work unless the car's electrical system is powered up with the ignition key. We have the key fob for this Camaro, so we'll power up the electrical system to use the read VIN from vehicle function. For this car, I need to push the start button twice. The dash lights illuminate, indicating the car is now powered up. Click on the read VIN from vehicle button. Once the VIN is displayed, select Done. Enter the username, case number, the imaging date, and the crash date. These fields will be hard-coded into the CDR data file and cannot be changed once the file is saved. Select Done. A window will appear allowing you to enter any notes or comments you wish. This field is editable in the future. Enter your comments and select Done. 
click on the airbag icon. The status of the download will be indicated as CDR makes three separate passes of the data contained in the ACM. The download process typically only takes a minute or two. Once the download is complete, you will be asked if you want to save the recovered data. Select Yes. You can create a file name and select where to save the file on your computer. Once you've done that, select Save. The raw CDR data file, or .cdrx file, has now been saved to your computer. A translated CDR report of the file will automatically appear. And that's how to perform a DLC download using the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool.